Do you have trouble getting a seal with the BVM and the mask? Well, let me show you a couple tips that'll help that. There's three parts to this. First off, positioning. Get the position upright. In this position, we're gonna find that the facial structures and a lot of the tissue is gonna fall backwards towards the stretcher, meaning the seal and the mask is not gonna be great. So first off, get the patient up as high as we can. And that takes a lot of weight away from the chest too, so that way we're not fighting against all that chest weight that they may have. Next thing is holding the mask at a higher position. So good rule of thumb, the lower position we have on the mask, the more likely our grip is gonna be offset, creating a leak on this side. So the higher we hold the mask, the less likely we're gonna be offset, meaning that we're gonna have less likely a leak on the opposite side that we're holding the mask. That's two. Now the third thing is positioning of the airway. Now we know that we want to get them in more of a sniffing position in order to actually ventilate this patient. So in order to do that without having to really pull back and create more of a chance of a leaks or seal leak, we're going to put some sort of towel or blanket underneath the shoulder blades like so. So it essentially naturally keeps the head motioned backwards more in a sniffing position. So that way when I got the mask on them, I don't have to work purposefully in order to pull them back in order to actually get a, a good sniffing position. This is gonna naturally allow that already. So those are three tips that are gonna allow you to improve your mask seal while you're giving ventilation with a mask.